everybody. It's Helen Hart Smith here with Kathy. And we are here with episode 503 of the podcast. Welcome back. And I just want to state that if you hear some construction noises, it's because my husband is still working on the kitchen. Yes. Sorry. Um sorry. So um so what is our topic today, Helen? So we're going to talk, I thought this would be kind of a groovy, um, a groovy thing to share. Um, both Kathy and I have talked about um, the online schools, which schools, pagan schools that we have participated in, in other um in other videos and podcasts and such. Um, but I knew that there were other options out there and I thought it would be cool to do a podcast where we kind of shared the ones that we knew about. Okay. So before we do that, but before we do that, there's something that must happen. What was that? Oh, it's time for the correspondence of the week. So Kathy, why don't you tell us what the correspondence is? Uh, for the correspondence episode? for this week is fern. 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 A nice plant, fern is. It is. It promotes mental clarity, cleansing, and purification, and also dispels negativity. Does it now? Yes. You can keep it in the room where you're studying in order to help concentration. Ooh. You can burn a sprig of it before an exam. And you can use it in sachets and ambulance for powerful auric protection. Hey, that sounds super uh, helpful and uh, falls right in line with what we want to talk about. Right. So fern. it's almost as if we planned, planned it. it that way. <laughs> <It's> almost, <laughs> well, almost as if we diligently searched for something that would be applicable right. to, to this week's topic. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so that was the. Correspondence of the week. Very good. Very, very good. So, um, online witchcraft schools. Okay, so we personally have experience with just a couple of them. Right. And we have went out and searched for um, some more. Helen has a link to a blog post that someone right. did. Yeah. That she'll be putting down in the comments. Yeah. I In, in researching different schools and such, um, I came across, uh, it's on WordPress. Um, so like Kathy said, I'll put a link in the description box so you can go check that out if you want. Um, and I'll also put in the description box links to um the various websites right. for the different programs that we're going to talk about now this isn't all of them that are out there no this, I, by any means there's innumerable ones right we're there's not, lots of teachers out there there's well, and some people you know aren't aren't big like right. witch school or temple of witchcraft um and so but there are other teachers out there um, but we figured that this would be kind of like a stepping off point for for you to go and try to to see mm -hmm. where you want to to go with your path. I mean, some some of these teachers are going to be more applicable to you than others, and, and some and, of them, quite frankly, have um, some of them um, have um, like their intention is um, pretty specific. Um, some might be a tradition school, right? Like like witch school and temple. Some might not necessarily be tradition driven, but we'll talk about different traditions. Mm -hmm. And some really set you up for um, priesthood, right? And priestesshood and things like that. So, um, and, and not that some of them don't, but you yeah. know, there's. I definitely got the impression of different feels yeah from various things and we're not we're not saying that any of these is perfect you know right. we're not we're not saying oh you must go to this school um right. we can give you the experiences that we've had with the schools that we did mm -hmm. um but that doesn't mean that you'll have the same experience and it doesn't mean that some of the other schools wouldn't be better or worse so i i guess saying that 
it's important to keep in mind um, that you have a mind and you have um, the ability to decide and determine if something works for you and something that doesn't because there's a lot of unscrupulous people out there that will take your money and mm -hmm. do absolutely nothing for you that you can do for yourself or try to induct you into some sort of cult. I'm not saying any of these are like that. I'm just saying right. we don't know most of but, these But groups. definitely, definitely you want to have, you know, a certain amount of like a buyer beware. Right. You know, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay for something that I didn't know of someone else that had gone through it. Right. Or, or if I knew the person that was like, heading it up. Yeah, or something. like with the Temple of Witchcraft, we'd both met Christopher Penzak. Right. We'd read several of his books. Right. He seemed like a pretty intelligent, straight going, easy guy. Right. You know, not a crazy psycho weirdo. Right. At all. Right. And and he wasn't a flake that, you know, wasn't gonna take your money and, and then like drop off the face of the earth right. before you finished your year. Right. Or so what have it's you. important to do some research on the schools. See at, and I know that it's hard in in the world that we live in to find sometimes local pagans who have experience with these things, mm -hmm. and that's why public, uh, sorry, online schools are so important mm -hmm. because most of us don't have somebody local that we can learn from. And it's really giving us a sense of community that we might be lacking in our neighborhood, right? Which is super important, right? And it's much so. easier now than it was twenty years ago. You can pretty much find groups for anything right out there right i mean just even on facebook or reddit there will mm -hmm. be something that you can find that has information about a school that you're looking for so it's important to check those sources before making a decision right and even more importantly before writing a check right for sure for sure all right so that kind of being said um why don't we just kind of dive in and why don't we start with which school because that's where we both started right Okay. Yep. Um, let's talk about which school because I want who found which school? Was it you? Uh, I found it, yes. Okay. So which school is um that's actually the website, which school dot com com. Um, and so it is the first online program that I ever heard of. That, I, it yeah. probably was not the first. Probably not. Um but, but it was the first free because you could do and I think you can still do the first degree completely free. I think you're right. Um if you they they do offer a lot more than just degree classes. In order to get to them you have to pay and I believe that it's a monthly fee. Um every once in a while they run specials where you can get a lifetime membership and with a lifetime membership you can have access to all of the classes obviously for the rest of your life. That's why they call it lifetime. Mhm. Mm Right, and I think both of us have lifetime, lifetime. memberships. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so we, that basically means that we can go back whenever we want, right. take whatever class we want, right. and what have you. Um, um, so with which school you get, um, you if you, well, I assume on the first degree you would also get a mentor. So you get a mentor that helps you go through the the degree system, um, the mentor may or may not require you to do extra stuff than what's in the text, but the um, degree lessons have uh, 12 or 13 lessons, and then you have a 25 question um, multi-choice test, and I believe you can only take a test every 30 days. Um, so you can't power that, through it. That, that is for, yeah, that, and that's that, for the degrees. The 30 system. day is, yeah, the degrees. Um, it's, it, you have to go 30 days between. Um, a lot of the other ones are like a week. Right. I think it so is. So they have lessons. supplemental, they have stuff like on, on the tarot and on, um, oh, it's been a while. There's so much. They actually have a huge section of anthropology. Yeah. So they talk about a lot of ancient cultures. Right. And um because I and divination. I spent I spent quite a few years not looking at this stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was super surprised when I went back. Herbology. Um, right. Um I they've can't got read. some really good stuff on like Bach remedies. Yeah. Good classes on Bach remedies. Um so there's theology, there's Wiccan studies, um, philosophy paganism today there's general studies and um, these are just the categories so like if helen's going to general studies there's two different classes 
um, mastering oh. the elements and course, course mentoring. mentoring because you can also become a mentor at Witch School and that was actually um, well I think I paid for the lifetime but I became a mentor for a while and that also gives you free lifetime if you're a, if you're a mentor right um, so I think we forgot to say that this is a tradition driven um, class right um, so the Corellian Nativist, nativist nativist i always say it wrong that is the tradition that you're studying when you um look at the degree system um so it is wicca based um it is a three-year degree system right um they also do stuff like um the corellian ministry they have an extensive system of like symbols and um garb Calendars ritual and, yeah um garb and things like that spell um, work and yeah so it's 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 interesting yeah it, it's very it's a very complete system um mm -hmm. and and i i thought the cosmology was really good i still i still use the same basic like um creationist cosmology uh, in my belief system, there, there's a lot of stuff that you can learn from it. And and again, the first degree class is free. If you don't want to pay, you can pay a monthly fee, which I want to say is, I don't know. And you won't be able to look because you're lifetime. Yeah, I'm lifetime. Sorry. Yeah. So, um, or or they, I think they just got done running another lifetime drive. Yeah, it seems like I remember emails going around that there was yeah. a, a, another lifetime drive. So, but it's more than what we paid. It is. It is, yeah. We well, we paid for it 15 years ago. Come exactly. On. Yeah. Right. So, so. Um, I will say, though, that the first, second, and third degree courses are available in books that you can purchase. Right. Um, however, with that, you don't get the mentor you don't get the extra stuff the mentor may require. You also don't get the other classes that they require for you to become an inner court member of the Corellian tradition. Mm -hmm. um, so there's there's that types mm -hmm. of things. Right. So it's definitely it's worth the money. Absolutely. Um, Especially if you're doing the free one. Right. It's yeah. If yeah. So. I would I would recommend to do the free course yeah and see if you if like it's it still free uh, like we I, yeah, I believe it check. is I, I believe the first is. degree is still free right um, so and, yeah. and they're around the world they have members that are oh, yeah. around the world yeah there's a huge South Africa in Australia Australia yeah and things huge like that. and and there's a lot of local temples um, we ran one for a little while um, but then we just got out of the Corellian tradition. Um, and they also, there's also a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Um, Reverend Don um, will do the... a lot of interviews. Yeah. Um, he goes to a lot of the big pagan events, including... Oh, yeah, we've, um, we saw him at Convocation a couple yeah, years ago. Yeah, he was at Convocation. Um, he also goes to, like, PantheaCon. He goes to, like, the big pagan Pride Day in New York City. Um, he goes to Parliament mm -hmm. um, and stuff like that. So he does a lot of interviews with um, with witchy folk and authors and, and what have you. And you'll find that on the YouTube channel. Um, and there's believe, like some exercises too. Yeah, I believe that um, the first degree now has videos for each lesson. Yeah. So... They, yeah. And they, I, it's been a while since I did any classes on the site, but there's a lot to it if you want to check it out. And that, again, that's witchschool.com. Right. I will try to remember to um, put a link. I will look for the YouTube page as well. I think they also do a podcast um, because I think that Selena Fox piggybacks on their po podcast network. Oh, okay. I wonder where that, I wonder where they post that. Um, I wonder if that's on the YouTube channel or not. No, it's because you can download it in, in uh, Apple Podcasts and stuff okay. like that. Awesome. Hold on a second. I'll be able to tell you. Um, so, yeah. So, it's it's uh, it's a very interesting and it's, it's uh, it was started, like that tradition was started probably in the 70s, I'm guessing. I'm trying to remember... Well, history, it's, a, it's a there's, family. They're saying tradition. that it's a family tradition. So the um, uh, 
Christelle, Lady Christelle or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, she had it from her parents, blah, blah. Um, so they, but they went online as soon as the internet got big and uh, developed a full teaching course and they just keep building on it. Mm -hmm. um, and I couldn't find the podcast really quick because I think she also has another one through Circle Sanctuary. So, um, can't so, do that one. so let's move on to um, let's move on to uh, the Temple, Temple of, Witchcraft. of Witchcraft. Yes. Um, so, oh, here we go. Um, I want to say that classes. I want to say that the next round of yeah, year the reg one through the registration is open. Yeah. Is, yeah, and it's um, open until in September sometime. Yeah. So if you're interested in Temple, um, I will put a link to the site so you can go check out um, the Temple stuff. So the um, Temple of Witchcraft is based on the teachings of Christopher Penzak. Um, it's a five-year system as opposed to a three-year system. And it is, uh, it, you get a little over a year of teaching. Uh, you get supplemental material. You get uh, monthly lectures, which are super fascinating. If you ever get a chance to sit and listen to Christopher Penzak speak, you must do it. He is so knowledgeable and awesome, and he just really knows how to teach. Hmm. Yeah, um, and, and the cool thing that's going on now, too, is that there are um, there are a lot of folks that are um, able to teach. So it's it's the web is growing. Yeah, so, he's, so you can take in-person classes in right, St. Louis. Right. Um, Not from Christopher, but from right, people. Right. From people who taught, have taught. Yeah. Or t yeah. Um, Karen is teaching in England mm -hmm. um, and and things like that. So uh, Justin is teaching in Nova Scotia mm -hmm. um, and things like that. So um, the web is growing. Um, so if you would if you would rather do an in person class, um, so uh, if you live in Massachusetts, you can do in person with Christopher. Right, right. right. So um, so the basic how I like to explain the temple and how it's set up um the first year i like to say that it's like the foundations mm -hmm. it's the learning to meditate and to journal and energy work and it's centered around fire um the second year is when you get into the real traditional wicca stuff like the wheel of the year um the sabbats spell work and things like that Third year is devoted to shamanistic study. Um, fourth year is um, is high magic and the tree of life, the Kabbalah. Um, and then fifth year is um, ministerial community um, teachings. Um, so that's kind of like how it's how it's broken down. Those are very like basic and there's lots of other things that are covered right. in each of those years, but those are kind of like the overall themes um, in each year. And I really appreciate, and I think I got a lot out of um, doing that five year system. Um, there are other classes that are starting to come out um, through the temple. Um, Christopher was really centering on getting the, the five year degree system completed um he's been doing classes on the wheel of the year so it's a full year of um of in-depth sabbat. sabbat work and things like that um he's working on dark moon mysteries um he's working on a lot of other things magical um astrology gateway to the goddess um, things like that. So there is information on those types of things that is also available on the website. So um, I would really like to take the Wheel of the Year class um, and things like that. So, yeah. So the the degrees, the, the five-year degrees are what, 360 a year or something like that? I think that 
it, yeah. yeah, it's different from where I was where I yeah. was at. Well, when I just did the first year, it was I believe it was three sixty. So yeah. Um, and, and, I, and I don't same, know how much the it's the same online as it is in person, right? Um, and the like the 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 wheel of the year. I want to say that that was a little less. Let me see if there's information on this. I want to say that it was like around 125, 150, but I don't know. Look there, 175. That's that's England. Oh, that's what Karen is doing. That's why I went past it. Because I think Christopher's is still going. Oh, I don't his, think his I think it'll be done. Going, yeah, because yeah. I think it's November. Yeah, October. Yeah, but November, it would be the same cost, would... wouldn't it? Uh, well, English pounds is going to be different. From... Oh, is that in pounds? Yeah, I that, thought yeah, that was a dollar it's sign. England. No, that's a pound. That looks like a dollar sign. Oh, yeah. No, November. Yeah. Yeah. Class fee one seventy five. Yeah. Um. So yeah, so 175 for the class. Um he does like weekend intensives too if you can mm -hmm. if you get a chance to do with yeah. those. Again, if you have a chance to listen to him or attend a lecture, it is definitely worth yeah. doing. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I highly recommend it. Um I as I've talked about many times, I did it. So He does a lot of podcasts too um where people interview him. So it's interesting mm -hmm. to go out there and and listen to some of those. He's very very good speaker. Yeah, I actually did an interview podcast with him when I was out there for my graduation. Right. So, yeah. So, I can and put a link. The construction. Zone. I can put a link in that, in the description box, if y'all would like to check that out. Yeah. Um, so, let's move on to some other stuff. So, the rest of these we don't have personal experience with. Right, but we might know somebody who has. Or, so. um, like, the the one with Ardentane, we've met the teacher or one of the teachers. No, because a lot of people come to convocation. Right. So. Okay. So I came across um, a school called Magic Magical Circle School. Um, and the website is magicalcircle.net. This is free. Oh, is it? This is a free school. I actually signed up for it, but things have been kind of busy and I haven't had a chance to like actually... Take, take any, any classes. of the classes, but they have a lot that's available. There's a lot there. Mm -hmm. um, this is um, this is a non tradition. Like th they they have classes on specific tradition type stuff, um, but from what I can see, it's an eclectic group that is of people that are running it. Um, so. Um, you need to log into the classes that you're enrolled in once every 14 days. So you can't just like, like right now, I don't have time to do something super consistently. So if you're, if you don't log in and do something every 14 days, they will basically make you inactive. Right. So, you know, know about, know that. And they want you to log in. Um, and it's interesting because they want you to hand in at least one assignment um, or proof of progress every 30 days. So they're really, they're really about, you know, keeping current, right? which I appreciate. And if I were in a position where I could do more, then this would definitely be something that I right. would look at. Where, which school, I think it's a year they make you inactive. Right. It, like if you're like I was signed up for the third degree on which school and hadn't done anything a long time. So right. I lost my mentor. And, right. right. So I, I don't have to start over again, but I would have to apply for a different mentor. And right. So on. So they also want you to complete the monthly check in in your class when you first join and before the fifth of the month after that. So um, like I said, I like enrolled, so to speak. But I never actually took a class because I just, like I said, I haven't had. Right. It hasn't worked out for me right now. So there's that magical circle school. What I did, so they have this whole like super intensive um, list of kind of like mini classes 
that they want you to go through. And it talks about like, um, conduct, hmm. you know, and being respectful and how to handle homework. And so it was a great introduction mm -hmm. thing that was very well put together. Hmm. And so I was like, well, okay, these folks looks like they know what they're doing. They've got their head out of their butt and they've at least, cause it sounds like, there's like a group of three people that are kind of like the head of this this mm -hmm. school. Now, I don't think you get any kind of an accreditation from them. I could be wrong. Okay. Um, but that's definitely something because like witch school and um Temple of Witchcraft, you can gain your high priest and high priestess status mm -hmm. from them. Um Hmm. So, um, so yeah, it was, it was definitely interesting looking and it was something that I kind of wanted to check out more. Basically this magical circle.net. So, so the next one is the mystic dream Academy, Blake, black rose witchcraft. Um, isn't this the one, um, what's his name is taking? Yes, Joshua. Thank you. I'm, I'm horrible <laughs> with names. I knew it. I saw his face in my head. Yep. Joshua, I knew it was you. And I don't yes. know why I couldn't get your name. I have a nephew <laughs> named Joshua. But I knew it was you, Joshua. Um, so Black Rose was founded by um, Storm Fairy Wolf. And um, so therefore, it is based on the fairy tradition that was started by Victor and Cora Anderson. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, Storm and, and Devin Hunter... And, oh gosh, the third guy's name is this, I think it's Chaz. Oh. Um, they're all affiliated um, with this. Sacred Fires was founded by Devin Hunter and incorporates Northern Star Wicca, Cult of Diana Wicca, as well as elements of fairy tradition. So I don't know much <laughs> about right. northern star cult of diana i have i know what the fairy tradition is i know that victa and Cor Vic victa victor, uh, victor. victor <laughs> and cora anderson started that i know that um t thorn coil is right. also involved in the fairy tradition and this fairy just to clarify is f a r e r y not f E R I right tradition right um because and there so, is a difference yeah there's there is a difference um so black rose is um a 13 month journey um into the craft of the witch yes she's reading from the website <laughs> yes this is coming right from their website yeah. um drawing from several different traditions of witchcraft and folk magic black rose will teach you how to meditate Clear your energy, cast a circle, invoke the elements, cast effective spells, and more. So pretty much everything that the temple or witch school could do as well. Right. So a lot of these 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 courses are going to teach you the same basic information mm -hmm. in just different ways. Right. And a lot of times it's tailored to the tradition they're teaching. Right. So um, again, this is a, 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 class, a school that neither one of us have looked into. We've talked with Joshua and I've watched Joshua's videos mm -hmm. um, to, um, so, you know, I'm getting a little bit of an idea of how things are. It looks like there's like a monthly theme. Um, it looks like you pay $25 a month. Or $250 for the entire course. There you go. Um, and um, so you get like a monthly lesson and I, it, sounds like it sounds like Joshua might have taken like a break so he started life happened took a break picked it back up again mm -hmm. I don't think that it's super structured in that like with with Christopher with with Temple you start in August say and you go you have a lesson every month we, I guess we should have probably talked about that. You have a lesson every month with homework that's due. Right. And you go until like the following September. Right. 13 months. Right. And so that's how Temple is kind of set up. And this, with Temple, you can't, you can't stop and restart. Correct. If you, you have stop, to, if you, you have stop, to then you have to start all over again. Right. 
Um, so this, and I could be wrong on this, but it seems like that might have been what Joshua was doing. Um, so, but 25 bucks a month, 250 for the entire course. And then there's like, it looks like they also do a, an audio lesson mm -hmm. um, that you get to download. Well, and video tutorials. Right. Um, you get original content similar to what Temple of Witchcraft gives you. Well, and so does Witch School. Mm -hmm. And then there's um, an online community support in forums. And that's another thing that we kind of didn't talk about with Temple as well. There's um, there's an online forum where you can meet folks that are in your class right. and create that community right. online. Right. So you can do um, that. It's also the true, true for Witch School. So. They have the, well, they had the Yahoo groups when we were doing it. They probably have something similar now. Yeah. Yeah. They might. Yeah. Yeah. So that one looks interesting to me. Um, I don't know that, I don't know that I'm all about learning, but I don't know where I'm kind of sitting right now is I'm, I'm in a capacity where like I'm done, but what's the next thing? I don't think that I want to start all over in a one oh one situation right. and so yeah i don't know this it's interesting because i don't know anything about right uh, or very little about fairy and nothing about northern star and cult of diana wicca so um but if anybody knows anything about these that uh these ones that we haven't been in or know about i please let us yeah. know so what's the next one on our list so the next one is Kitchen Witch School. Um, that's kitchenwitchhearth.com. It's in England. The cost is about 13 pounds a month, which is less than 20 bucks. Right. American. Uh, American, yeah. Uh, it looks like um, they combine Wicca, Kitchen Witchcraft, and Wild Witchcraft. You get your homework reviewed by a school elder, and you take the lessons at your own pace. So, um, everything's online. They have a degree system. Mm -hmm. You end up with a certificate at the end of it. And they also have, um, study for things like tarot, runes, crystals. Um, they have, a, an extensive grimoire that is being added to, um, there is no registration fee, but there is a monthly payment and we talked about that mm -hmm. this one looked this one looked interesting to me because it seemed to be more uh like a plant based mm -hmm. type right. thing right. with the kitchen witchery and the 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 wild witchcraft and what have you yeah it sounds um, like their first degree is called the forest of oak mm -hmm. so yeah very plant-based right so that one might be interesting and it might be interesting if you're in England or in Europe. Right. You know, something, something to check out. That's a little bit closer um, to home for you. Maybe mm -hmm. um, not that international students aren't, you know, right. able to do some of these other ones. Um, and it does say that there's an option to take high priestess training um, and things like that as part of that school. Extra branch lessons, get it? Right, 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 right. right, right. They have online <laughs> chat rooms and rituals, so that might be interesting to do. Yeah, um, and again, I will put a link to this site so you can go check it out in the description box if it sounds interesting to you. Now, the next one that um, we want to talk about is a pretty big online school. Mm -hmm. um, this might be... This might be the, ch the, 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 the cherry on top, so to speak. <laughs> cherry. <laughs> cherry Hill Seminary. <laughs> yeah. So Cherry Hill Seminary. Dot org. I remember like Crystal talking about Cherry Hill yeah. Seminary um, in the early days. Um, and so it they're a big deal. Yeah, and this is pretty big organization. Yeah, this one, um, when I went and looked at the website and stuff, it definitely gave me a feel of um, like a university setting. 
Right, and it, I think that's what they're going for. Yeah, um, definitely a university setting. This is definitely, um, this would be like the witchy equivalent of going to seminary. Right. You know, going if you if you were in a, a Christian tradition um, and, and going to seminary, this this is what it is. It's about leadership. It's about ministry. It's about your personal growth and how you can help other people in their personal growth. Right. Um, so, I mean, on their website, they talk about um, how they support pagans in their community, um, you know, their vision, what their vision is, what their values are. Um, and they list it all out. So like their values are honors the sacredness of the earth values scholarship, respects diversity, encourages individual and spiritual autonomy, values community, and promotes service. Um, these guys got it going on. They are, like I said, they're the, they're the cherry on and it top. It almost looks like um, they're an accredited university, but I could be wrong. Yeah, that's one thing. It, it's kind of hard. Um, it's kind of hard to kind of know exactly like i i don't know what the cost is yeah it's really hard to tell yeah but they do have a master's program so it, it really looks like that they may be accredited mm -hmm. so i i don't know you, you yeah because they to... actually started as a male course a yeah, correspondence male yep correspondence. and then it yeah. went to online in 2000 um so it was it has its 5013 C3 501c3 tax exempt status um as of March 2007 um to I'm looking to see cuz I'm I I saved a little blurb on their history um the current masters program was announced in July of 2009 they offer several graduate degrees certificates short courses for general interest and a series of lessons for um in car in car sir in cars oh incarcerated pagans jesus uh -huh. mary i can't believe <laughs> can't believe it took me that long to get that word sorry guys um and continues to evolve based on the needs of our students and the overall pagan community um this yeah this it was originally started like in the 90s this is the creme de la creme, I think. You um, know, I just found prices. Oh, you did? Yeah. So, introduction to pagan theology, the fall course is four hundred thirty-five dollars, and you have two prerequisites that you have to take beforehand. Interesting. So I so it's, believe it's this like a, is more like a college. Yeah. I think it's accredited. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, I mean, if, if that's where your interest lies in education, then, then maybe that's where you, I want to say Crystal might've been in thinking about it at one point. Yeah, maybe. So, um, so yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it looks like classes are 435 and they had summer classes and fall classes. So, um, it's probably on a semester system. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Definitely, you know, it's definitely food for thought for someone who's interested. And it in has that. been out there for a while, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what What's next on our list? Ardentane, which I believe is was founded by Amber K. It's in, it's, it was established in the state of New Mexico. Yep. Um, the seminary is on 25 acres in the... Jemez the Mountains of New Mexico, yeah. one hour northeast of Albuquerque. Now, this is one that I didn't really get a ton of information on. Um, so, areas of study. Um, I didn't realize that I had, that I wasn't as... So, this one they have classes, but oh. they're either day classes or a couple of days, although I might be looking at the in-person ones. Um, they're 25 bucks. I don't know about online. I'm not seeing anything online. Yeah, and I think this was part of that list that I originally found. So, um, yeah, I was thinking that maybe they had online, but it's kind of hard. 
So it looks like they have separate schools. Schools of magic and witchcraft, school of pagan leadership, school of pagan spirituality, school of sacred living, and school of shamanic studies. Website sponsors. It looks like Care, I can't pronounce his last name, is Kulin. doing a lot of uh, teaching for them oh, as well. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah, so this might be, you know, it might be more of an in-person kind of thing. But, um, yeah, Care's doing quite a few. Um, so if you're not familiar with Care Cahoulin, he's, um, he's started a warrior tradition. And he, um, he is an ex-police officer. Um, and he's he, very much, um, it's almost, his tradition is kind of like, uh, bringing like a warrior aspect with Wicca together. Um, and so the, the ritual garb is a gi, mm -hmm. as you would wear in karate. Um, Crystal actually studied under him for, um, a number of years and, um, she enjoyed his stuff. So, he, uh, I'm trying to think. Warrior, Wiccan Warrior, I think is the yep. name of his book, yep. one of his books. Um, he also has a, a book on uh, Law Enforcement's Guide to Paganism. Yeah. Um, the, he's got a Witch Wars book that, not a Witch Wars, is it Witch Wars? Uh, it's, it's about the satanic panic stuff, which is super fascinating to me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he, he's a good author. I liked him. I read several of his books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Amber K is a teacher there. Um, yeah, it, un unfortunately, oh, one hundred and twenty dollars for. That's a retreat. Friday retreats. Yeah, yeah. I I don't think that you know the amount is too awful. But then again, if it's an in-person thing, then you have to be there. Right. I, I guess I'm going to say, instead of us fumbling around too much anymore, if anybody knows about this, to, like, give us a heads up. Because yeah. I feel like um, we don't have, like, the right information to talk about it. Right. Okay. Um, so let's kind of move on to the last one. Or the second uh, to the last one. one. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> yeah, the Gray School of Wizardry. This was started by Oberon Zell Ravenheart. And this, um, so this is based in California. And, um, it, it seems kind of large because the website says that there's 25 faculty members organized into 16 departments each with a department head so it sounds like there's a lot going on there right this um is kind of set from what i <laughs> ooh, Sorry. bless you um from what i could gather um there is a monthly payment that could be made or a yearly subscription um and it looks like $200 for a year, um, but I'm not super sure on, they there's use different second stuff. Second Life? Yeah, I, I don't know much about this one. It was kind of hard, it was kind of hard to figure it out. Yeah, it was a virtual campus and it uses um, Second Life as the virtual campus, which I don't know much about. Second Life is almost like a, it's an online, you yeah. create an avatar and interact with right. people. Um, and it's pretty popular. Um, and there, you can like go and watch a movie. You know, you can right. like meet up with friends and go watch a movie and stuff like that because it's your second life. Right. Um, but um, yeah, this one, it was kind of hard to figure it out. So it looks like some stuff was $200 for a year. Some stuff was $300 for a year. Um, I don't know. I don't know of anybody that's ever taken any of this. If yeah, anybody's ever either. taken a course 
through Gray School of Wizardry, I would love to hear what your experiences are because it was hard for me at the website to understand much of what was going on. Right. So, um, yeah, because they have a level up charge, which what? Yeah, I don't I don't know exactly what that means. Yeah. So I guess if you have any information and would like to share, we would appreciate it. And it sounds like maybe there the the school itself has like set some goals for itself because it talks about how um the grimoire is in the first phase of a long range vision. Hmm. Um so um yeah. I, I, if somebody wants to uh like do a video telling or point me in the direction of a video right that, that kind of explains yeah. this i would super appreciate it so so the last one on our list is the college of the sacred mists um which they have a facebook page yes i remember that and my link isn't working um, but it is another online um, system with a lot of community interaction uh, via chat rooms and message boards. Um, you have a structured learning environment. It looks uh, like they've got a wide selection of training programs um, that, you know, if you're a seeker looking for knowledge and magical expertise, you know, there's there's a lot of different things that are available for you to to kind of check out. Again, this is something that we don't have any um, knowledge of, but it looked it looked. Um, they have a degree program. Uh, it looks like they might only have a first degree. Oh, yeah, maybe. Looks like they may only have Ooh, lots degree. of lessons, though. Nope. Second degree second as well. Degree, second yep. and third. Wow, there's like 20 lessons. 21 in the, in the first. Second. Yeah, so yeah. that's some extensive learning there. And there is a third degree. So, yeah. It, so, it looks like there's a degree system, but not much past that. And it's twenty five dollar enrollment fee and twenty five bucks a month. And yeah, I'm not seeing anything past that. But it's if if while you're going for is a you know a degree, I don't know how. And this is based on Celtic traditional Wicca. Right. They recognize the validity of many branches of Wicca and witchcraft. Therefore, the college teaches a broad introduction to other traditions and practices with an eclectic flair. And this is coming right from their website. So, and you said it was $25 registration, registration and $25 a month. Right. So it would be interesting to know how quickly could you go through because those lessons. We have our herbalist course and a Reiki course. Yeah. Um, oh, that, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Sacred Mist. Okay. Because I didn't see that under the course Yeah, because it's, it's also one side. They also have a shop. Yeah, so I would be interested to know how quickly you could go through the lessons. Because, you know, with 20, with yeah. roughly, roughly could, 20. Could you do it in a year or would it take you 20 some months to do exactly. it? Exactly. Right. Yeah, Could is it one lesson a month? Like, how is that set up? Um, so, again, if anyone knows anything about the College of Sacred Mists, Online Wicked, Co Online Wicked College has any experiences with that, then we'd like to hear, you know, how did it, you know, how was your experiences? Would you recommend it? You know, different things like that. This says there's no time limit on the degree, but they require you to spend at least a year and a day. So it sounds like it's self-study okay. rather than here you get this this month and this right. this month. Right. So you have to spend a year and a day on those 20 on some lessons. It. Interesting. All right. And they're training you to become a high priest or priestess. Interesting. With a focus on Celtic right. Wicca. Yeah. Interesting. So that was the last one on our list. Yeah, that was the last one on our <coughs> list. And like we said at the top of the, the podcast, we're sure that this isn't all. Oh, God, no. That's out there. No. So um, 
if there if if you're listening to this podcast and you're taking a class an online class that um that we didn't talk about then we'd like to know about it you know share some information with us right um, and or if you've taken classes through one of these that we've mentioned, what's what's, what's been your, your experience? Right. You know, how does it work? What works for you? What doesn't work for you? Uh, of course, no school is going to be perfect for everybody. Right. There's going to be things that you like and don't like and and things that work and don't work. People learn differently. Um, so just let us know if you've experienced any of these schools and and what you thought about them. And um, maybe we can do another one of these with yeah. some more schools. Or yeah, definitely with give more us information. Yeah, definitely give us something to think about and look at, and what have you. Right. And uh, do yeah. some more. So yeah. So that's gonna be it for this podcast. Right. Right. So if you've learned something, or um, or enjoyed this. Uh, podcast give it a thumbs up sorry i, I drew a blank there for yeah. a second well, um, yeah. um, please um subscribe yep if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel um uh we talked about leaving comments um, there's um, an email address yep there's email and lots of sh social media links that are in the description box so be sure to check those out um and i think that's it uh, if you have anything you want us to talk about, um, we're kind of low on topics, so please let us know. Sure we are. All right. Yeah. If you've got questions, comments post it in the comments and uh, we'll do our best to um, answer them. So that's going to be it. Okay. We're going to wrap it up. All right, guys. <laughs> thanks for, thanks for uh, watching, listening, and taking the time to walk the path for a little while with us. Until next time. Blessed, blessed be. be.